Hi guys, my name is Taylor Mills and I'm a Health Information Management graduate student at the University of Central Florida. Today I'm going to discuss what phishing is and how we can avoid it. First, let's discuss what phishing is. As defined by Merriam-Webster, phishing is a scam by which an internet user is duped as by a deceptive email message for an example into revealing personal or confidential information which the scammer can use illicitly. Phishing is a cybercrime in which a target or targets are contacted by email, telephone, or text message by someone posing as a legitimate institution to lure individuals into providing sensitive data such as personally identifiable information, banking and credit card details, and passwords. Now let's talk about different types of phishing. The most common type of phishing is deceptive phishing, or spray and pray. It refers to any attack by which fraudsters impersonate a legitimate company and attempt to steal people's personal information or login credentials. Those emails frequently use threats and a sense of urgency to scare users into doing the attacker's bidding. For example, PayPal scammers might send out an attack email that instructs them to click on a link in order to rectify a discrepancy with their account. In actuality, the link leads to a fake PayPal login page that collects a user's login credentials and delivers them to the attackers. Next, in spear phishing scams, fraudsters customize their attack emails with the target's name, position, company, work phone number, and other information in an attempt to trick the recipient into believing that they have a connection with the sender. The goal is the same as deceptive phishing, lure the victim into clicking on a malicious URL or email attachment so that they will hand over their personal data. Spear phishing is especially commonplace on social media sites like LinkedIn, where attackers can use multiple sources of information to craft a targeted attack email. CEO fraud, or whaling, is an attack on a small group of powerful people. It's called whaling because fraudsters attempt to harpoon an executive and steal their login credentials. In the event that their attack proves successful, fraudsters can choose to conduct CEO fraud, the second phase of a business email compromise scam where attackers impersonate an executive and abuse that individual's email to authorize fraudulent wire transfers to a financial institution of their choice. Whaling attacks work because executives often don't participate in security awareness training with their employees. To counter that threat, as well as the risk of CEO fraud, all company personnel, including executives, should undergo ongoing security awareness training. As users become more savvy to traditional phishing scams, some fraudsters are abandoning the idea of baiting their victims entirely. Instead, they're resorting to farming, a method of attack which stems from the domain name system, DNS cache poisoning. Under a DNS cache poisoning attack, a farmer targets a DNS server and changes the IP address associated with an alphabetical website name. That means an attacker can redirect users to a malicious website of their choice, even if the victims entered in the correct website name. Lastly, we have vishing, which essentially is phishing over the phone. They can do everything that an email phishing scam can do, but you're going to be talking to a person instead of clicking a link. So what can we do to prevent ourselves from being phished? Essentially, be skeptical and be smart, and remember that any legitimate company is not going to ask for you to update information over the phone or online without verifying your identity first. If you think someone has attempted to fish you, you can report it. You can report it via your email domain, and I have attached an image below that shows how to do that on Microsoft Outlook. You can forward it to the FTC, or you report the phishing attack to the FTC at the website below. Also, you can always delete the email. Remember, there is no harm if you have not clicked the link. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something, and I hope that this video has been informative for you guys.